this is critical because most everybody moves up into the ball. Me too, yeah. Okay, yeah. so I'm standing here with just my right arm. If I was going to hit a little chip shot and pitch shot, and I'm going to pivot at all, yeah. here's what happens. As the club's coming down into the ball, my left leg pushes my left hip socket back. Yeah. So this leg is just pushing this hip socket back as the club goes through the ball. So I'm just, boom, right through the ball. So this hip gets pushed further away from the ball than it started. Now what most people do, even when they start here, they go back, this hip stops, and they try to rotate their pelvis. Yeah. So all of a sudden, this hip, they feel like they're turning their hips, but their hips are turning closer to the ball. So this left leg has to learn, as the club comes through the ball, to push this hip socket, just pushes it back. And then you time those two together, boom. That's how you hit the ball. All right, guys, so video number three with Mr. Malaska. This, I think, is my favorite one. If you're someone who struggles with hip rotation or hip depth during the downswing, this is one I use with students all the time and use in my own swing. You're going to absolutely love it. Let's give it a watch. All right, guys, so let's talk today in this video about how the hips work during the downswing. Mike, thanks for having us out here today. Great to say, great, Eric. Appreciate Good. it. And so uh, let's talk about how the hips work during the downswing. There's a lot of micro stuff to talk about, right. but I think kind of uh, baseline level principles to start with, sure. um, how those hips work from the start of the backswing on the way down. Well, here's one thing I've learned is, you know, you kind of break it down into small movement patterns and then you develop the whole thing. Yeah. And there's a lot of misconceptions out there, or words that confuse people like clear your hips, turn your hips. See, turn in my world is an effect. Your body works in straight line forces. So the more you can have those straight line forces working, the easier it is for your neurological system to do it. Yeah. Turn is an effect of what your pelvis and what your joints do. Okay. Okay, so when yep. somebody stands there and they say they're going to turn, that isn't what you're trying to do. Yeah, you want your pelvis to rotate, but there's a, the way I do it is in a straight line force. So gotcha. if I'm looking okay. at this camera here, the first thing I want to get people to do, as soon as they start to pivot their body, and yeah. then this is this is critical because most everybody moves up into the ball. Me too, yeah. Okay, yeah. so I'm standing here with just my right arm. If I was going to hit a little chip shot and pitch shot, and I'm going to pivot at all, yeah. here's what happens. As the club's coming down into the ball, my left leg pushes my left hip socket back. Yeah. So this leg is just pushing this hip socket back as the club goes through the ball. So I'm just, boom right through the ball. So this hip gets pushed further away from the ball than it started. Now what most people do, even when they start here, they go back, this hip stops, and they try to rotate their pelvis. Yeah. So all of a sudden, this hip, they feel like they're turning their hips, but their hips are turning closer to the ball. So this left leg has to learn, as the club comes through the ball, to push this hip socket just pushes it back. And then you time those two together, boom. That's how you hit the ball. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Yep. We're gonna make a practice swing first. So you're, yep. we got a seven iron, but we're gonna hit it like a pitch shot. Okay. So you go up, you swing up. Now as you come down, as the club's going through the ball, your left leg has to push your left hip out of the way. Got it, okay. Do it again, just a little practice swing. That's yep. how far your left hip has to get pushed back. Got it. So your weight now is going, or force is going, into your left heel. Yes. Okay, so now set up to the ball, and yeah. we just get a little chip shot. Sure. And I'm going to make your hip do what it's supposed to do. Okay, a little one, here we As go. the club goes through the ball, that's how far back this, you feel how far back your hip's yeah, going? Yeah, big time. Okay. It feels good. But that's not exaggerated. See, people, they, they're not used to feeling this. Yeah. Now, to tell somebody, like I say, turn or clear your hips doesn't get it. Gotcha. Uh, your, your brain, your body doesn't really understand that. And when, when you say get out of the way, people tr start trying to get out of the way this way. It's really not getting out of the way. If you feel this force, push, yep. push. And all you're trying to do is push this hip socket back. It's not straight in your left leg. Because look, I can go here. I can straighten my left leg and my hip didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people are trying to go like this and straighten their left leg. It's not doing anything to their hip. Yeah. In fact, you want this leg to stay flexed because that's where this, now you're pushing up through the ground to push that hip back. Got it, okay. And exactly. So now yeah. if you're watching me from behind me, what happens 
as I go back, when I start down, as soon as force hits this leg, boom, as soon as force hits this leg, this leg is then pushing this hip socket out of the way. So this hip socket never gets past that foot. Gotcha. So people who struggle with yeah. slide, yeah. that's because you've been trying to get up to your left side instead of get into your left side. So you put pressure in your left foot and then you push your hip back. Yeah. If my hip moves back, what does this hip do? It moves turn, forward. Yeah. What did my pelvis just do? It rotated, not because I'm trying to turn. Yeah. And the other thing, when I push this hip back, my pelvis rotates, there's no pressure on my lower lumbar spine. Yeah. If I go here and I try to twist my hips, that's all lower lumbar spine. Got it. The more you can move and put less, the least amount of pressure you can put on your lower lumbar spine, the better off you are, because it's not designed to rotate. If I were gonna start with, and obviously I felt you moving me there, Yeah. But let's say you weren't here and yeah. I'm watching the video and right. I'm like, hey, I want to kind of start this process. Right. The main kind of, again, the dumbed down, simplified version Fine. would be as I'm kind of starting my downswing or as I'm during my downswing pattern, the sensation would be my left hip area working more back this it way. It gets pushed back. And it's as like that happens, my leg straightens, my hips rotate. And your weight goes to your heel. Yeah, all from that one thought. Yeah, see, yeah, because yeah. if I take my if I take my left hip socket and I push it back, yeah, what did my hips just do? They turned. Yeah. And where did my weight go? Or force went to my heel. And the other thing we're talking about movement of force. If people start thinking about moving weight, that's another bad term. There is no weight shift in golf. It's a yeah. force transfer. So you're moving force through your foot, and and so. Once you do this, that turns your hips, your weight goes back to your heel. Now, if I keep going, there's your swing. We've done a lot of videos, maybe 650, which is unbelievable to even think and say out loud. Yeah. And this is the first time we've done a video where I don't feel like I need to add anything or say anything. That was so beautifully um, explained. I would just like to hit one or two no. with it. But I think yeah. like the, the, the way you just said that leaves no room for misinterpretation. Well, here's what's, I'm not real smart. But I've learned a lot about the golf, about how the body works. And yeah. so I've learned to look at the swing from a different perspective. How do the joints move? How do you put force into them where they make other things happen? It's pretty simple. And the more straight line forces you use that create things, the easier the body can do it. Yeah. It works off 90 degree angles and straight line forces. So the more your hands and wrists are doing this, yeah. and the more you're moving in straight lines, the better off you're going to be. As Got soon it. as you start trying to move in circles and your Trouble. brain starts going, oh, what are we doing? Yeah. Now with this, you want to all, you want to start with most of your weight on your left foot and you're yeah. just, because you want to be, that's where you should be when you transition. So then from here down, because you were talking about your downswing, yep. well, you're already into your left foot when you get to the top, yep. if you want to call it top. So then it's from here, as the club's coming down, this is pushing out of the way as the club goes through the ball. Yep. If you go early, the club's left behind you. You got to catch it up. If it stops, you flip. So, so for all intent and purposes, just to kind of again keeping things simple, the idea is, um, and that feels really good when I do it and accomplishes like six different things at one time. Right. I'm feeling that my hip is working back, kind of at the same time as my club is coming through. In simple terms, that's what it is. What it is. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do a little half seven iron here and I'm going to put those uh, two feels together, which for me, and we'll get into this at, at a sort of a later point, um, but uh, feels really good relative to what my normal yeah. you know, issues are. So I'm feeling my left hip back as my club is working through. I'll just do a little half one here. Yeah, that's good. So if I was out here, let's say I'm hitting balls, maybe like an alignment rod. For sure. Bump back into it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because then you go, then you're here and you start down and you bump into the alignment rod. Yeah. And again, the bumping, the, the pushing your leg back is pushing your hip back. It's not just straightening your left leg. There you go. All right, guys, so just to recap here, when Mike set the stick up and how you're gonna practice this, if you put the stick behind you just two to three inches behind your left butt cheek here when you set up, and you saw me rehearsing that, bump your left butt cheek back into it, bump your left butt cheek back into it, or your seam line for more rotation, but get your left side going back, going back into it is the feel. 
do that a couple times and then start to hit with it. Record yourself, see what you actually look like, start short and slow and build up. Do not add length or add speed until it looks how you want at the shorter distance. So special thanks to Mike for having us out. Beautiful day. If you guys liked this video, go ahead and watch this other video on the screen. I'm gonna be talking about the same rotation pieces. can really help implement these in your own game. If you guys did like this video, do us a favor, really helps us out. Click that like button, uh, like button down below, click the notification bell, please subscribe. Thank you guys.